everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you, Shishi, from, for joining us from Chicago. Um, so tonight I'll be talking about my summer with my community partner, the Women's Housing and Economic Development Corporation, or WEDCO for short. So um, WEDCO is a nonprofit community development organization founded on the simple idea that all people deserve healthy, bright, uh, healthy, vibrant communities. And they work with holistic neighborhood development at, uh, in the South Bronx with three specific neighborhoods, Morris Saimia, um, Crotona East, and Melrose. They work um, holistically with housing, childcare, and small business, and in terms of housing, they operate three affordable housing units in the three respective communities that I just mentioned. Um, Urban H Horizons, which is a building that opened in 1926, Intervale Green in the Crotona Park East area, and Bronx Commons, which is the newest building. Um, WEDCO also works with child care and youth development. Um, WEDCO equips young women in the South Bronx community to start their own home-based child care programs and create the, their own businesses, get the necessary registration and licenses for that. And WEDCO finally um, works with small businesses in order to um, revitalize the commercial areas in the South Bronx. So leading into that, um, my main area that I worked with over the summer was with small business outreach. Um, WEDCO does a lot of work in the Southern Boulevard area, um, which is essentially a boulevard that runs through the east side of the South Bronx. And um, almost every address at this boulevard is a small business. And um, over the first half of my summer, um, a lot of my work with the outreach was more general, where I would um, help with the project where um, WETCO was helping small businesses apply to grants and loans, especially those that were struggling during the pandemic. Um, and then after the first half of the summer, my supervisors and I discussed that um, one of the main projects I could work on would be creating um, a set of resources for residents that were looking to either start their own businesses or they were already in the process of starting up their own businesses. So um, one of those resources that I created was a small business startup guide in the form of a brochure that um, is being handed out physically at events that WEDCO holds. Um, and essentially the purpose of this is to put key things in the minds of people who are in the process of starting a business that they wouldn't otherwise come across. So even small technical things like how to research the kinds of violations that the city impose, uh, that the city has um, fines and penalties for. And um, yeah, and then there's another resource that I created was a website with a link of resources and um, phone numbers, contact information for businesses at the earlier stages of development for them to reach out to and learn more about how to register their business um, with the New York City, et cetera. Um, so another more long-term um, goal that WEDCO had that I worked on throughout the summer was um, in relation to the local elections that were co coming up at the time. Um, so because WEDCO was newly navigate navigating um, their how to carry out their outreach programming remotely during the pandemic, um, I was helping them create flyers, brochures, social media posts that um, all helped the um, what goes goal for the summer, which was to increase voter turnout for the Bronx. Um, so just some general reflections. 
um, my work with WEDCO this summer was remote and WEDCO as an organization was also still operating remotely with only about 10 to 15 percent of their staff showing up to the office. So both WEDCO and I were again navigating how to do a lot of the functions that they were used to doing in person remotely. And this came up both in the community outreach as I was talking about earlier, but also in my project with um, creating materials for small businesses. I found that um, usually at the initial stages of the project, I would want to do a lot more um, in-person outreach and interview small businesses um, and form that trusting relationship in person and even my supervisor had mentioned that um, there might be opportunities if I was in person to like go door to door to these small businesses. But um, because of the remote setting, I found that there was a lot of room for me to learn how to build those trusting relationships in um, an online format. So. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. <laughs>